I'm looking for somebody to eat right here, babe. Right there. Where is the watch? Baby, Leah hooked me up. If I need help, I will ask for help. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aaliyah Area. If you're new here and I make videos about lifestyle, beauty, and travel content, so if that's something that you like, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, y'all, we are getting into so many things. We got our hair done. We traveled back to Mississippi. We went to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. It's just a whole lot, a whole lot of so. Make sure you watch to the end. Meet me in the comments. Let me know your favorite part of the video. Also, let me know if you have ever been to Mardi Gras. Um, and let me know if you like the hair, y'all. I cut some of it out. Y'all will get more details later in the vlog. But let's get right into it. Today is Friday, February 9th. And I'm about to take Baby Doggy to get a bath. Lately, Myron and I have been bathing him. Bathing him, I think that's the right word. So, lately, Myron and I have been bathing him. But... It's time for him to get his anal glands expressed. I know, TMI. And he desperately needs his um, nails clipped. So, I'm going to let the people do it, okay? One day, I might feel comfortable enough to, like, trim his nails. But dog uh, toenails, they have, like, one little part that you can't hit or you're going to, like, injure them. So, I just let the people do it. Yesterday, I made um, an appointment to get my hair braided today. So while I'm out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the little bohemian hair that I need. And then we are going to... Oh, I have a closet assist closet i have a closet assessment with my friend at 10 o'clock you know so my friend leilani shout out to my girl she's gonna come save the day but the closet assessment is gonna be virtual she's gonna be helping me um get my closet better organized y'all don't get me wrong this is something that i could do myself like i'm i can i can organize it and things like that but I don't want to do that, y'all. Like, I don't even want to think about that. I could be, th I could use that time to think about other stuff. So, I'm just going to let my girl come and help me. Like, we could do it together as a team. And we're going to get the closet together. Because my closet is completely, like, a mess, to be honest. Like, it's, it's just a mess. Like, I just cannot have no little bitty closet y'all i need a closet that's the size of a a baby's nursery room because no i need a closet room because having a little small closet just don't work for me like girl mm -mm, i got too much stuff and that little closet is just so tiny but anyway the point that i'm trying to make here is that leilani is gonna be helping me with my closet and we're gonna get our closet together, okay? And that's just the end all be all of it all. All right, y'all, we at the hair store. I need some Milky Way Q bundles. Hello. Hi, where can I find your Milky Way bulk hair? Like the Q bundles? We got it. Hey, God, don't remember me. Cause I be changing my look up so much. He said, your first time in the store? And I'm like, no, it ain't my first time. I just, I, I never go early, number one. And number two is I, um, I don't have my camera. So, you know, I feel like sometimes people trend, tend to treat you better when you have, like, cameras and stuff. Because this same store, y'all, there's an old grandma in there that she, baby, when I tell you, as soon as you walk in the store, she will follow. Um, she will follow you. And I feel like sometimes it could be, like, a culture, a cultural thing. Like, sometimes people from other cultures don't know when they are being... Uh, I don't want to use the word intimidating because it's not intimidating. It's it's really annoying, like, following you around the store. Like, that's annoying, okay? If I need help, I will ask for help. Anyway, y'all, I got the hair. I'm going to get... This could be my first time getting, like, only one color braids. I might have to mix some number four in there. I'm nervous. I should have probably got a number 30. 
Let me see. Do I need to go back? Let me see. I'm nervous, girl. Because I'm going to the Africans. They be trying to charge extra for every little thing. Well, no. I think... It's gonna be cute. I ain't gonna do all that, girl. Look at these people. I'm, I'm glad they ain't blowing me. And we're back home. My friend just texted. I think she said she's gonna call me. We're about to do this closet assessment. I ain't straighten nothing up, y'all. The closet is a disaster, okay? It's just it's just bad. And y'all know about them white shoe boxes, but I gave them to Mary. And I need to order some more. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god. My closet has honestly never been in this type of condition. Um, but this just goes to show that I just be so busy. Like, I used to set my work clothes out every night. Like, the night before the day that I got to go to work, I used to hang them up, get off work. Put them in the dirty clothes and uh wash them if i need to wash them or if it's like a cardigan or something i just hang it back up later i wasn't doing that hi sis hey sis hey. what's up This is a mess. It's so doable. Okay. If you say it is, it stresses me out just walking in here. Well, yeah, because you have to... Okay, so let me just do, like, let me just explain. So this okay. is where I keep my shoes. This little okay. thing is broken. So I just started the one clothes up there. Okay. Everything's clean. There's still shoes on here. Um... For me, I think it's kind of like a space issue. So I ended up buying this thing from Ikea. And so I keep some of like my workout clothes in there, uh, my scrubs for work and stuff like that. Um, these are winter clothes, summer clothes. You know, it's like work clothes and stuff like that. So I have work clothes in those bins, gym clothes. Like it's just a lot. I feel like it's, it's a space issue. And it's an organization issue. Like, I just can't get it because the closet is so small. Mm -hmm. And then these are clothes that I ordered, and I just never, okay. like, put them away. Okay. So, so you don't have, like, a clothes chair that you, like, throw your clothes on? And, like, because I know, like, one of my problem areas is um, stuff that's not all the way dirty and that's not all the way clean. Mm -hmm. I normally put them on the couch to be honest. Like, all right, y'all, closet assessment is over. I feel really confident, you know, I'm happy about the things that we discussed. One thing that I learned about myself is I can do the things that I be paying people to do or to help me with. I just don't be wanting to do them by myself. Like, my mama was here, me and my mama could get in my closet and get it together. But my mama don't stay here. I don't have a sister. So I gotta pay somebody to help me, which is my friend. So I'm happy to put money in her pocket. And I know she happy to come and save my closet. <laughs> but I'm happy with what we talked about today. And sorry y'all my battery died but i was saying i'm happy about what we talked about today and i feel like we covered a lot of ground today i created a note uh, a collaboration note um just to keep everything streamlined for me like see i'm i'm very organized as a person y'all but once i lose the organization like once it goes haywire it goes haywire and it's hard for me to get back together when it comes to like my closet and my space and stuff like that so I created a note of things that I need to purchase. And this is why I need somebody to help me because I do not, I don't want to be looking for no storage stuff. My friend has already sent me the links of some stuff that I need to order. And if I don't particularly like what she sent, I could just scroll down to like, you know how like on Shein and Amazon, they have like 
similar items. If I don't like the exact one that she sent, I could go and find some similar items that are, that I like. And she even told me about things that I didn't know about y'all. Like, I didn't know that they had hanging mesh hampers. Like, I had no idea about that. Um, so that's one of the things that she recommended. And my closet is not very wide. It's more long than it is wide. So she also recommended that I get a shepherd's hook which is one of those things that like if you go to Rainbow City Trends, any store that has clothing, um, they have those long hooks. I never even knew the name of that thing and I never even thought about getting one for my own particular closet. So that is why I like to seek help from other people. So closet assessment done. I thought it would take like 15 minutes, but because it's my friend, we were talking about other things. So right now it is 10.55 and I still have quite a few things on my Friday to-do list, y'all. I am really close to not working out, but the Aaliyah, the future Aaliyah would thank the present Aaliyah for working out. Like, I want to lose weight, so me skipping out today is not going to contribute to me losing weight. So, checking things off my to-do list. The gym ain't even on here, baby, but I want to just at least spend 20 to 30 minutes in the gym, like, at the very least. Um, if I do 20 minutes, I could be back to my apartment before 11 30 and if i do a full 30 minutes it'll probably be by 11 40 11 45 before i come back to my apartment i still need to wash and blow out my hair which might take me an hour so let's say i get back up here at 11 40 that, that brings me to 12 40 to wash and blow out my hair and I still got to go to the bank, get cash, pick up Rocco, and make an Amazon return. And be at my hair appointment by, uh, by 2.30. So, realistically, that leaves me from 11.30 to 2 o'clock. That's two and a half hours. So, two and a half hours to work out, wash my hair, pick up Rocco, go to the bank. It's pushing it, y'all. But let's get some action. Come on, let's go. And this is just a one time use card. Okay. 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 okay, y'all. Whew. The rat race is almost over. I'm at the bank. It's 207. I am projected to be at my location at exactly 2:30. So I can breathe a little bit. I can breathe a little bit, baby. We about to go to this bank and take out 400 bing beans. Cause the African aunties do not accept cash. I mean, they don't accept uh, like Apple Pay, Zill and stuff like that, that I like to give. So honey, we got to get some money out. Got the goods, baby. Fan me off from hot, hot, hot. <laughs> 400 bean beans, okay? I'm thinking it's gonna be about 340, 350. Hopefully, no more than that. I did get some Chick fil A breakfast this morning when I took Rocco. I just never ate it because I wanted to do a fasted workout. I wanted to work out and then get everything else that I needed done, done before eating. It actually worked out perfectly because now I can eat before I get there. Like, I won't. Dang it, I didn't pick no snacks. I only picked fruit. So, normally I try to take like a, a granola bar or something like that. So that if I get hungry, I have like a little snacky snack. But I got my water. So, water and fruit should hold me over. I'll just try to pace myself. And not eat my fruit until like three hours later. Um, there was something I wanted to show y'all. So I picked up Rocco. Y'all saw that he um his vet bill, well his grooming bill was like sixty four dollars, 
and y'all so i my electricity is through txu energy so they um they ended up sending me a cashback reward card y'all for 65 dollars and i was just holding on to it because i was like I don't know what I want to spend this $65 on. Like, I could use this as my fast food card, but I really don't be eating out like that. So, I just held on to it. And uh, I, I knew he needed a bath. So, which way they want me to go? But, yeah, y'all, we about to go to this appointment. I got two pair of headphones with me. I got my over-the-ear headphones. I got my AirPods. And I need to do some stuff for work. I also brought my computer and stuff so I can edit like i know they ain't blowing to me i'm prepared i got my iron work hook i ain't been using my stanley because i've been missing my man baby so i i've been calling this the manly i've been using my manly honey but yeah y'all i will call y'all once we get there and probably midways through the appointment so yeah i'll see y'all then You could just throw away. Yeah. Um, I'm at the place that I came to that don't have tap to pay. I have my card with me today, y'all. So I'm their last customer. I feel so special. It's called Alicia's Mexican Grill. They got family packages and whatnot. I can't wait to tell y'all about my hair experience. If you know me, you know I'm about to go home and cut some of this hair out. It's too much boho hair in here, so I'm going to go and cut some of it out. It looks like my camera is not focusing. I don't know what's going on with this camera, but I got to wait like 15 more minutes for my food, y'all. So I guess I might meet y'all in the car because they're looking at me. Okay, I got the food, y'all. And I'm so hungry, I'm about to open this food up and see what it looks like. I got the car in reverse and everything. Like, I'm ready to eat and ready to go home at the same time. How that work? Mm -mm. Good, y'all. I don't know what these people done got on my pants. I really hope it ain't oil. It's one of my favorite sets right here. Hold on. This is what the hair look like, y'all. This was $290. So under $300. I left a $10 or $15 tip. Whatever I had left. I like it. Um, I asked for medium waist length, which should have been like here, because that's where my waist is. But I have such a short torso that anytime I ask people who braid my hair for waist length, it more than likely is always going to give butt length, and I love that for me. Y'all, they did a good job. Um, I asked them not to make it too full. But to me, it's still too full. Like, what I mean when I say that is, it's too much, like, curly hair in here. So, once I feed my face and my belly, I'm going to go in the bathroom and I'm going to cut some of this stuff out because this hair don't be lasting long. They didn't dip it. So, I'm going to dip it, see how I feel about it, and then come back and cut whatever I don't like out because I don't want it too full. I want this to... Get me to April at the very least, okay? They did a good job, y'all. It don't hurt or nothing. I just told one of my homegirls, because um, she was asking me about my experience, I just told her I would go back. Um, my thing is, y'all, they only had 
one person in my head. So come to find out, they work off of a um, a number system. So depending on what number you are when you walk in the door, that's going to determine if you have one or two, two people in your head. I didn't know that prior to going, but now that I know, when I do go back, I'm going to request, baby, I need two people in my head. I got to be out of here. But the lady also told me, she was like, if you come earlier in the day, you'll have a, um, a higher chance of getting out quicker. Um, and also, if you go during the week, this is me telling y'all this. I feel like if you go throughout the week and not on a weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because they open all weekend. Um, I think you will have a good chance of having more than one person on your hair, too. On your hair then, I meant to say. But, yeah. I like it. I think they did a darn good job. I went to Suwa African Braiding here in Houston, Texas. Price was right. They ain't had no Wi-Fi, but I had hotspot. I got everything that I was supposed to get done for work today, which is Friday. I got that done. And I submitted my uh, time for myself as well as my assistants, which I normally do on Sundays. I got that done today. So... The weekend is about to be up, okay? It's about to be a good weekend. A good, chill, relaxed weekend. Um, this better got one notch. I'm hungry. I, I'm not ready to open my um, margarita. I feel like they ain't mixed my margarita good enough. But either do. I ate a piece of uh, quesadilla in the car. Chef's kiss. So good. boho hair on one in every five braids because I told them every other and they didn't listen so could have been a language barrier too like who knows we about to spritz the hair now this is how much hair I cut Happy Saturday. Today is February 10th. It's my brother's birthday. Um, so happy birthday to my little brother, the baby of the family. He turned 19 today. Um, I'm going to be going to Mississippi tomorrow. I don't know if my mom and them doing anything today. I honestly have not talked to nobody today, y'all. I am kind of wanting to go to a couple stores today. But mine got on to me so bad this week, y'all, because he's like, girl, you are constantly, like, doing something. Like, yes, I get my rest. I feel like I get my rest, but he feels like I have been constantly moving and constantly going, so I need to relax. I was honestly supposed to go to Mississippi today, but... After how I feel all week, like, I literally did not pick up the camera all week since I got back from Mississippi. I did not pick up the camera from Monday to Thursday. I started vlogging yesterday, which was Friday. I just did not have any energy. I did not feel like doing any type of, like, content. I didn't feel like bringing y'all with me. And I was just explaining to him, like, I am tired. I, my body is letting me know, like, girl, sit your butt down somewhere. I just, I would get off work. And I would do like little things around the house. I would do the, the normal things that I normally do, but it just was like taking an extra toll on my body. And I really can't explain why. So he was like, you need to sit your butt down. He actually told me I don't need to go to Mardi Gras. I need to relax. Um, and I was like, I don't know, babe. What if I just stay home Saturday and don't leave Saturday? He was like, that's the deal. 
but he don't he ain't called me yet today i think he busy at work so i wonder if i can try to sneak out before he called me because he was like don't do nothing saturday and some weekends i have those weekends where i do nothing like i just sit in the house i binge watch a show and i'm happy my body's like fully rejuvenated but all week although i have been tired i have been having this complete urge to do my makeup so i can just feel so pretty but i ain't never do my makeup so today i want to get out and i want to go to sephora and i want to go to ulta um those probably be the only two stores i go to of course today is saturday so i go to duncan on saturdays i'm going to duncan first and then uh depending on how i feel after i leave ulta i'm gonna go get my brows threaded for the week um but if i don't feel like getting my brows threaded i can finesse because this is a finesse i just have on concealer um oh and i drew i penciled in a little bit but um but yeah y'all so let's try to get out before he calls me and even if he do call me i'm just gonna tell him babe i'm only at sephora getting some new concealer that's it that's all Oh, Alright y'all, we are outside of Sephora. And when I tell y'all the girls are out shopping, I mean that, okay? I don't have nowhere to park. Let me tell y'all about Ulta. They didn't have the lip liner that I was looking for. That particular location. My home location has it. I might go get it. It just depends. I really don't want to park way back here because I don't want to carry no umbrella for real, for real. Um, they didn't have Prada Paradox. I really wanted to smell the uh, Paradox version of the Prada. So, I was kind of bummed out about that. I also really like Rihanna's perfume. Y'all know I talk about it all the time. Um, but I don't have the big bottle. You can only get it from Sephora. My discounted stores don't carry the Riri. <laughs> they don't carry that Riri, baby. Girl, it look like I'm about to have to make a parking spot real Mississippi-like. Because what's going on? We finally got a parking spot. And as soon as I pull up or walk, look what I see. Y'all, that was such a good Sephora trip. The girl in there, her name is Leah. She forgot me from last year when I was having that makeup uh, debacle. But she went on to help your girl out and baby girl gave me so many samples, y'all. Like, I think I have this. I think Keisha gave me some YSL Libre, but she gave me some more. I never tried the replica, so I'm excited to try replica. Got replica. I got the hourglass, y'all. Oh my God. I think I love the hourglass. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm very much a drugstore girly. Like, my Juvia's place. And my uh, Milani does a darn good job. But this hourglass, honey, I know y'all can see it. If the camera can focus like it need to be focusing. It looks so good. I got some YSL uh, mascara. Is it giving rich bitch? It's giving rich bitch. Yeah. Baby, Leah hooked me up. She said, um, my name is Leah. How can I help you? I said, hi, Leah. I'm Leah. You can help me with everything, actually. This pharmacy makeup remover. Like, I love my Clinique. But this pharmacy, though, good. She asked me that I want some samples. And I was like, girl, what, what, are, what are my options here? And she was like, I'll just give you everything. And she did. And I also picked up this milk makeup um, mattifying primer. Everybody be using the Hydro Grip, but I use the e.l.f., which is like um, a dupe. So I want to try the mattifying one. Leah and Sephora said that. Uh, 
she said that this uh that black milk makeup was too mattifying for her but she has dry skin and i have combo skin so i'm gonna give it a try i also got a sample of the house labs foundation i didn't want to jump the gun and get the foundation today because i was in there on tiktok and a lot of people were saying that it does separate and I like my uh, Huda Beauty, but I want to do a wear test before I jump the gun and buy the full concealer. So much for resting today, because I do need to pack uh, my Mardi Gras stuff, y'all. A lot of my stuff, well, my leg warmers, which I, what I, which is what I really wanted. Girl, they pushed my order back. It ain't going to come now until tomorrow. And I'm leaving at probably like 8 or 9 in the morning, so... Ugh, I really wanted those leg warmers because I don't have that many Mardi Gras outfits, but it's whatever. I'm going to just make myself look cute. Yeah, I came home and put on a little bit more of the concealer. Of course, I don't have no makeup on my forehead, so it, it might look a little odd, but picture this with foundation, contour, bronzer, all of that. Um, I fear that it's going to give. So freaking cute. I love it. Just placed my Benny Hunt order. So we about to go pick it up. I think I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs bag. So I can take a weapon with me. Because I don't know. That Benny Hunt must just be. it be some questionable people over there. Got the Benny. Houston have a new restaurant open every freaking week but this look nice so what benny Huntington did what kind of chicken is this and i paid four dollars for some shrimp mm -hmm. four dollars they skimping on me um got most of the stuff is packed um i don't know what else i need to add my list is in the room i think i'm good i got pajamas undies accessories clothes all oh, the shoes i just gotta put the shoes in there and my makeup and that'll be it hey y'all happy sunday today is february 11th y'all and we are on the road we actually have been on the road for about two hours actually three hours because i have two hours left so yeah we headed to mississippi because we are going to mardi gras this week Rocco looking out the window. Y'all can see part of his body. <laughs> He's so funny. But y'all, the sky has been so freaking ugly. Literally the whole time. Thank God the rain. It has not been like consistent, hard rain. It'll drizzle a little bit and then stop. So I'm grateful for that. But my mama said in Mississippi, it is like pouring. So I feel like if it's pouring by the time I get there, that's fine. As long as I don't have to drive through consistent consistent pouring rain today has been good so far y'all the only thing that i need to gripe about y'all is my freaking apple watch do y'all see that girl completely green like what even is this so first of all i think i broke the watch in dubai i don't even know how the uh, watch got broke but it was fully functional the only thing is only one part of the screen where it's like completely cracked that's the only part that stopped working but i could touch it everywhere else i could do everything on the watch i still worked out it still tracked my calories it was doing everything that it needed to do but all of a sudden today it wanted to go out y'all i am sick like i love my apple watch i have other watches like jbw fossil and stuff like that but i prefer my apple watch i'm so mad so i've been saying that i was gonna get a new one anyway because myron got this one for me for valentine's day 2020 or 2019 this is a series five i'm sure they're probably on series nine by now so it's time for upgrade y'all i'm being forced to upgrade which i don't like i hate being forced to do stuff but i i cannot work without my watch i, I don't like working out without my watch i'm going to mardi gras like you know what happens if i lose my phone normally i will be able to use my watch so it's looking like i might have a girl stop somewhere so i could pick up an apple watch y'all this is so bananas <laughs> i am annoyed 
But other than that, y'all, I've been listening to music. I stopped at Dunkin' before I left. I got my coffee with an extra shot of espresso. So we're good. We're feeling good. We don't have that much longer to go. Um, I may or may not check in with y'all once I get to Mississippi. It just all depends on what I do, which it ain't really nothing to do except get in the house and catch up with the family since I haven't seen them in a week. But yeah, y'all, I just want to start today's vlog because I didn't want to jump from Saturday in Houston to Monday being in New Orleans. So I was like, let me just come out here and add this little clip in here so it wouldn't be like too much cutting. But yeah, y'all. Anyway, I will see y'all later. Happy Monday! Today is February 12th and we are en route to my aunt's house so that we can head to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. I did my makeup this morning. Um, I don't know if y'all can see like a good picture of it right now because I'm driving and it's gloomy. But um, y'all know, I don't know why my eye always runs when I do my makeup. Like I must be allergic to a product in my concealer or either the foundation but it has been so annoying y'all i packed up my makeup kit but i left out this little blending brush so that i could do my best to make it look seamless but you can tell my i've been running but i mean it's just gonna have to be fine for today um i did have two meetings this morning that's why the people are waiting for me my aunt has my shirt i brought my little <coughs> my little um fringe pieces to like glue to the shirt so i'll be able to do that once i am in the car and on the way to new orleans um yeah i mean I, that's pretty much it y'all that's pretty much all i have to say did i say that the weather was gloomy because it is it's been raining um i got my little small umbrella right here that i'm gonna be bringing with me i mean the eye is still watering y'all and i put like a little purple eyeliner underneath you probably can't even see it right now because i probably blended it in but anyway i will call y'all once we are in the car and on the way to Woodville, Mississippi, and then from Woodville, Mississippi, we gotta go to New Orleans. So I call y'all back later. All right, y'all. Here is my makeup. It don't look terrible, but this eye getting on my nerves. You can't even see the little purple. I only a little bit, but I was working with some LA Colors makeup, so that could be why too. I don't know. Yeah, we got to go into the beauty supply store. I'm looking for some of these right here, babe. Right there. Thank you, Nene. Baby, they got up some Mardi Gras stuff up in here. How much you think it costs? Oh, it's 24. That's what I'm Oh, yeah. What did they tell me? Take the head out. <laughs> 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 We have finally made it to New Orleans. It seemed like it took us forever to get here. I took a long nap, felt like I was asleep a whole night. Got to the place, y'all. These people that made me fall. These people that made me fall. I'm talking about, I feel so hard, y'all. Look at my watch. Where is the watch? In my watch? Oh my God. My auntie got the watch in her purse. The watch face, completely gone. I'm so done. I didn't bring no other watch up here. I'm going to feel so naked without my watch. 
I feel really, really hard. But, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I think I brought y'all in the store, but I bought some leg warmers. And this hat from the store. But, y'all, I don't want to put both of them on today. <laughs> I got to choose one or the other, baby. Because what if I want to take pictures both days? Well, it's mom's bro. I don't want to look the same both days. Hey. hey. Come on, purple. She got her mink on, baby. <laughs> Alright y'all, so this is what the outfit looks like. I'm I really can't show y'all the whole full thing because of the way the mirror set up. But this is what it looks like with the hat. Super extra how I like it, but I'm not gonna wear the hat tonight. So it's just gonna be leg warmers tonight. Whole outfit from the beauty supply store in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The shirt I got from a boutique, but everything else, baby, beauty supply store. Okay. Y'all people got their chairs sitting out and Rhonda got us about to go get some food. I told her if we ain't get if we ain't got no good standing spot, I ain't talking to her for a week. <laughs> because it's empty down here right now. The parade will be here in about an hour or and a half. And more people gonna be here by the time they happy. Yeah, it's so cold. Oh my god, you can't be cute because it's so cold. We just ate at Lucy's, y'all. Lucy's on Chapatula's, and it didn't take our food long to come at all. So now we're about to wait on the parade to start. We just saw the end of one parade, and now the next one is about to start. So, yeah. You come. She got that mink on, baby. She's still cold. Look at her. Uh -uh. <laughs> Miss Mocha in the What you say, Miss Mocha in Miss Mocha city, baby. Miss Mocha, baby. Miss Mocha, baby. Miss Mocha, baby. <laughs> Y'all, it's so cold. My hands are freezing. But we're going to sit inside this hotel. Where we at? We don't even know where we at.
to sit down. I thought I broke my camera, y'all. But by the grace of God, y'all still see me. Okay, I think I need to go to Best Buy as soon as I get back to Houston. I don't even know if I bought a warranty. I can't remember, y'all. It's been a whole year. But if I did, I'm gonna have to let them give me a new camera because this camera they had it. I'm just saying. Look at this girl. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, we freezing. <laughs> yeah, we have had to switch rooms three times. We're on our third room. The first one was musty. The second room, the heater didn't work. Now we're in room number three, and we're only here for one night. One night only. This is my tan. And room number three better be, better be right. Three strikes, you're out of here. Eric made for it. I ain't wearing no beads up out of here. Mm -mm. We finna go. I wanna try this new place, y'all, called Chow Bar and Lounge. Last time I was here, we went to Vanda. Vanda was cool. But I wanna go somewhere new. So I think we're gonna try Chow. Take me these beads off. I don't want to wear no beads to the lounge. And yeah, what if people not not wearing Mardi Gras stuff like you? It's okay. It's Mardi Gras. Yeah. I don't think I want to change clothes. Who they talking to, y'all? Oh no, we was being considered. <laughs> uh uh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say it. <laughs> Y'all, no, those beads broke my neck out so bad. So if you go to Mardi Gras, please do not put those beads on your neck if you have sensitive skin like me or you will get a rash like I did. But the Benadryl really, really helped me. But we did go to Vandal to get some food after I took the Benadryl and put some ointment on my neck. And Vandal was Vandal. Vandal is always a good time. Good morning, y'all. It is Fat Tuesday. My neck is looking and feeling so much better, y'all. Put some Benadryl on there. Went to sleep. It's a new day. It's cold outside. We have packed our stuff up. We about to head on out the hotel. Everybody got their attire on. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing in a minute, but I did decide to wear the hat today. I did a very quick makeup routine. We're packed, we're about to go to maybe one, one last parade, because the parade lasts forever. And then we're gonna eat and we're gonna head out. I got my stuff in my hand, but this is the outfit. Super cute. I might do better just putting the picture up on the screen, so I put it on the right side. Um, this is the first time in my life I've been to a Starbucks and my muffin is sick. Sicker than my neck these last night. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Don't get it bad. Yes, yeah, don't eat it, girl. Oh, Lord. I can already ate some of it. Now I'm just going to eat around it. Lord, if I get sick, y'all know why. Uh, my muffin's sick. Where's my please? It's ugly. Minnie, what is all that you adding in it? You got a, a cafe uh, macchiato? No, it's just very comfortable. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Got a red bull. <laughs> and I am her auntie. She's More like 40. her sister. Don't tell <laughs> my <age. laughs> I'm hanging with a 40 year old baby. Erica, how do you? 40? 40? <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm 30. Are you really? I'm the baby. I'm the baby. <laughs> I'm always the baby in, in all my friend groups. <laughs> literally. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm, I'm literally always the young. The parade is going on, y'all. And we are one block away. Come here, baby. We one block away from the parade. It looks like, I don't know if they stopping or what, but we're en route. It's still kind of cold today, but not as cold as it was last night. So 
that's a win in my book but my hands are still pretty cold my jacket don't have no pockets so i'm gonna have to put my hands in my inside my jacket in just a few shakes babes because it's kind of chilly but not that cold baby that barbecue smell good oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> officially checked out of the hotel and we've been looking for places to eat um where did we go first y'all they we have been to randazoo's to try to get a king cake we've been to nice guys they're closed mondays is closed so right now we're outside of moros y'all moros do not accept reservations and you have to get on the waiting list and be waiting okay so the client beside us said they've been waiting since 12 30 y'all look what time it is almost two o'clock we got put on the waiting list at 1 14 and Rhonda, what did they tell you an hour and 40 an hour and 40 minutes so we've been sitting here on the waiting list it's 1 58 we've been sitting here since 1 14 um I don't think it's looking too good, babes. When the car beside us is in it's at 30. It ain't looking too hot for me. Let me show y'all my neck today. It looked pretty good. It is a bit itchy, but nothing too major. But yeah, we're just trying to figure out if we about to go next door get some margaritas. But that's just FYI, y'all. If y'all think about coming to Mardi Gras, maybe come the weekend, like Saturday to Monday or Saturday and then go to the first parade on Tuesday and then leave after that because literally everything closes on Tuesday, y'all. Like, the whole city wants to celebrate Fat Tuesday. It's literally a national holiday in Louisiana. Fat Tuesday is a holiday. The banks are closed. The government offices are closed. The schools are closed. They don't open back up until Thursday after Ash Wednesday. So if y'all think about coming to Mardi Gras in 2025, Come any time between January and then the weekend before Fed Tuesday to get like a real full experience. You can make your reservations at restaurants and stuff like that because Mondays, they be a lot of the restaurants be closed on Mondays anyway. And then Tuesday, they be closed because of Fed Tuesday. But yeah, that's just my little spiel to y'all. 
Let me call. Let me see. Can you call in there? Probably not. But just try. I'm getting oily. Baby, let me tell y'all something. Have y'all ever heard the term you got to pay to play? It is so true. So me and Myron always pay if we want to be seated in a restaurant that has a long wait. So I just randomly was like, let's see if they'll let us pay to eat. Baby, we threw $40 on the table. They said, hey. come on. So we about to see. She said we'll be next. So I'm gonna keep y'all posted. See what it's looking like. See what it's talking about. That's why I told this cold on this side. It feels good to me because I was hot sitting in that sun. To see that sun. Gotta pay to play, babe. Pay to play. I can't wait to see a man about this. We're outside of Morrow's, y'all. The food better be making me slick my fingers clean to the bone. I ain't been here in about four years, so let's see. I have a Henny Rita, you guys. Let's do the first sip together. seen Converse with heels. That is so wild to me. That's crazy. I have been looking this at these. Go with I want to get some birthday socks, y'all. Is it too soon? Or is now a good time? Like for spring and stuff? I probably would get this color. I like these. These are $100. $110. But these are shoes I end up going with. Y'all know we looked at these in Houston, but we're 20. Okay. So I don't know. 20. I'm trying to. Y'all, Krispy Kreme has many donuts. If you know me, you know I love, I'm obsessed with miniature items. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. I love the miniature. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Today's Valentine's Day. And I just want to get on here and end the vlog. We are in route headed back to Houston. Um, we made it back to Mississippi at about 8 or 9 p.m. yesterday. And when I got home, I just took a shower and went to sleep. So I did not properly end the vlog. So I just wanted to come on here to do that today. So happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of the video. And let me know if you've ever been to Mardi Gras before. Let me know if you think about going next year, girl. They already got the dates set out, okay? Me and my people are trying to book a room immediately. <laughs> if you made it this far, I hope you love the video. Meet me in the comment section. Share my video with a friend. And I will see y'all in the next vlog.